generally as a you know a young drummer I was influenced by anything that had a cool beat it wasn't any genre at the time I wasn't even into double kick pedal you know I didn't have one so I didn't even have a drum set by the time I knew I wanted to become a drummer um, my parents got me one I was in like seventh grade you know listen to like you know Primus and you know, Incubus was like new and Rage Against the Machine. And I got my first radio in my room after I begged my parents to get me a radio. My older brother got his own room and he got his radio and started hearing music kind of emanate from there. So, um, you know, it was kind of just a neutral appreciation of rhythm at first. And then, you know, I got to say, I, somebody played me Candiria. Uh, you know, I, I had heard some weird prog songs or you know maybe some you know dream theater and, and stuff but when I heard Candiria since I liked heavy music I was into corn and stuff it, it did something it broke the rules you know of music and it combined progressive it combined not choosing a genre and going for that one thing it's like yeah bands pick a genre and they do it well but Candiria picked every genre and do them all well, you know, and that was important. That's a philosophy on itself, in itself. Uh, you know, having Candiria break that boundary, you know, as a young musician, wow, I didn't know you were allowed to do that. You, wait a minute, you can do anything you want. Throughout the years, I would pay attention to every little move Ken made behind the kit and, you know, studied and studied and just played and, you know, had all the riffs and twists and turns in my head down and, uh, you know, eventually, you know, met him at, at a show. Ken was such a nice guy, you know, he, he was always very welcoming. We always hung out at shows. Um, eventually, my band that I started at the time sounded just like Candiria or we thought we did, you know, we tried. Uh, young, young attempt at uh, Candiria Sound and Ken uh, recorded us. He, we did a ton of recording at his studio uh, with his brother in uh, Far Rockaway. And uh, he knew my, my style, he recorded me. So when Candiria came back around on Facebook, you know, they were like posting some stuff about, you know, a storm is brewing or something, something like that. So uh, I hit up Ken via text and I was like dude are you guys coming back because that's sick I can't wait it's been too long oh my god you know like what's happening he said he's in California and you know maybe I should hit up the guys if they really want to try to make something happen again and he put in the, the word for me and uh, I sent John uh, you know a message sent them a video of me playing stuff uh, Candiria stuff and uh, we set up some rehearsals and uh, it, it was kind of from there, it just kind of got better and better and more, you know, we kind of like tuned into the songs that we were going to start working on and, and I worked my ass off for it, man. And I, you know, I know they, these are big shoes to fill. The fans, everyone's been super supportive. Every show, um, you know, people who know Ken and know Candiri from a long time ago always share these awesome stories about how awesome these guys are and their huge impact, just like me, you know. Uh, so it's really cool to see that and hear all that and then get some approval from the fans as well. Uh, so that, that's, kind of, that's kind of where we are here in California on tour. This is, this is kind of a trip. Uh, I have to take myself out of it every once and again as, you know, such a fan for a long time. Then I'm like, oh crap, wait, I'm in Candiria. What am I doing? Like, what, what the hell is happening here? You know, I'm, I'm happy to, I like talking to people about that. You know, once they tell me all about their Candiria story, you know, they ask where the hell I came from. You know, they don't know me from a hole in the wall. You know, but you will. Yeah, so, that's me, Dangry, Danny.
dangry. 